Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel tonight. I am doing the Ouija board, the spirit box with hope. So I am going to be doing the Ouija and the spirit box with her, but this time we're doing it alone. Like literally I am putting Charlie and Clarabelle in the bathroom and shutting the door. And I'm going to show you that I'm closing them in the bathroom because I want to see if this girl is going to talk. And I just noticed something. There is a hair. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't. I'm sure you cannot. Um, or maybe you can. <laughs> that either is the former owner of the doll's hair, or this is Clarabelle's hair, which is kind of curly. You know, it's not super black though, so I don't know. It's kind of more brown, and it's definitely not my hair because I don't have any curls unless I use the curling iron. Anyways, it's somebody's hair. It's either Clarabelle's or it's the former owner. I have no idea. <laughs> but I just thought I'd bring it out because maybe something was going on when I was at home. Although I haven't really been paying super much attention to them because there's just been a lot going on. Which brings me to what I seen on the freeway tonight. As you all know, I was in a car accident, or maybe you guys don't know this, because maybe if you haven't either watched the video or you're not following me on my Facebook or my Twitter, or not Twitter, my uh, Instagram, um, I can't remember if I posted it on there or not, but I was in a car accident roughly about two weeks ago. It was June 12th. Okay, so I rear-ended this asshole in front of me who, mind you, he had this little, like, shitty 2002 little red Ranger uh, Ford uh, pickup truck, right? And he wouldn't let me over, and we were going like this, and I had my turn signal on to get in front of him. He wouldn't drift off to let me over. He just kept riding, looking to the side. And then, of course, I ended up getting behind him, and now he's pucking, and he's weaving, and he's pucking, and he slams on the brakes when we're in a, well, we, we come to, eventually we come to a stop because the traffic is backed up on the 405 and then there was a truck who, who cut him off. Like the traffic opened up, it was beautiful. He was pucking around, like doing scenic views on the freeway. And then uh, he started, he accelerated, I accelerated, the truck behind me accelerated and a truck came and cut him off and he slammed on the brakes. Like if he didn't slam on the brakes that hard and he just broke, I probably wouldn't have hit him, but I did. So it ended up costing $2,900 worth of damage on my car. Needless to say, the guy spoke no English. I had to get my coworker to translate. It was just, it was a challenging thing all the way around. And first he said to my coworker in Spanish, I pay for it, he pay for it. Cause he knew he was guilty, right? Even though I hit him, I'm guilty if I call the insurance company. He's like, don't go through the insurance, he'll pay. Well then when I got the quote, and he found out he's no 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 i was driving too close okay so he's not gonna pay so i got my car fixed all is right with the world and i seen the son of a bitch like yesterday morning or the day before it might no it was yesterday morning yes i seen him go by me and of course i know his truck number one his truck has a black bumper with a sticker like my kid is in school or my kid sells drugs to your kid in school some shit like that you know that bullshit sticker right and he's got a little tiny dent above his bumper little tiny that didn't even look like it would even belong to me because his bumper wasn't even dented like my car took the impact um so anyways i see him go by me and he swerves in and cut somebody off and it was ex the exact same spot we got into the accident now he's jerking and cutting somebody off so today going coming home from work okay he claims he lives in Inglewood but his driver's license is Pacoima and his insurance is Pacoima but he lives in Inglewood which would make sense why we connected on the 405 going north and I'm over here so coming this far I wouldn't think he would beat so as I'm getting into the far right lane to prepare to get to my off-ramp to come down you know to get into Torrance and Redondo Beach area I see uh, the popo up the street <laughs> on off the freeway and the doors open I see a guy kind of like standing with like his leg cocked up on the wall 
and I got, you know, he's kind of heavy set, a Mexican guy. And um, as I'm tr looking, as I'm driving, I see a white SUV and I see a red Ford truck and the black bumper. And I don't know if it had a little bumper sticker with the my kid sells your kid drugs in school sticker and that kind of shit. I don't know if it had it on there. It might have. I saw something. So I, he, if he lives in Inglewood, he's driven a little bit too far to get where I was going, unless he was on his way somewhere else, you know, tonight on Friday, who knows? Um, but needless to say, if it was him, his whole front end and hood was all crunched up and the cops were there and he was outside the car, which it did kind of look like him. It resembled him in the face and the body structure, the height, everything. This kind of looked like him and the red truck. I mean, hello, the red truck. And it was identical to the one that I hit. So if it was him, thank you to my spirits for bringing this karma and bringing this shit to befall him. I won't know unless I run into him on the freeway with like next week and his truck is normal. Then I'll be like, ah, oh, shit, one him. But the idea that it could have been him was phenomenal. <laughs> I was such a happy camper. I was like, yes, all the way. I went so much, I bought me some pineapple margarita mix because I'm going to have me a margarita tonight to celebrate. But before that, we are messing with hope and we're going to see if hope will actually speak. So without further ado, let's get this started. Okay, so I am coming in to the bathroom as we see, and I am leaving. I am leaving Charlie, and I am leaving Clarabelle to each other. And I am pulling the door. Okay, so let's get the Ouija and let's get the show on the road. Okay, so now we're going to do the Ouija part and the spirit box. So without further ado, I, what I've done is I'm going to do it up on the table and I've moved one of my red chairs over closer to the coffee table so I could stand Hope up because she doesn't sit down. All she does is stand. Her legs aren't bendable. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. Is there a spirit present? What is your name? Is your name Rose? <clears throat> Rose, are you the spirit that is haunting this doll? Rose? The hell, don't go off the board, Rose. Rose? Is your name really Rose? So why was I told that your name is Hope? N A M E Is a name given by mistake? Is the story the same? Is the story true what I was told about you? No. Speak to me through the
this spirit box. Yes. Rose, I'm going to turn this spirit box on right now. I ask that you talk through this box and tell me what what you need to say to me, okay? Okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to turn the ball on first. There we go. Rose, will you speak through this? I'm going to turn up the uh, speed rate. Rose, can you talk through the spare box to me? Rose, is that really your name? Is it really Rose? Do you have a message for me? Play the Ouija. <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix, you're crazy. Rose, do you like Phoenix? Rose, can you make yourself move? Can you move, Rose? little can you show me can you show me yourself moving Rose, can you make, uh, if you can't physically move in the doll, because I haven't seen you move yet, can you make a noise to let me know that you are present in my house? Is that possible? Wait until when, Rose?
Wait until when? Speak through this, Rose. Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? I heard that. It was like a knock. Rose, was that you that just knocked? If it was you, can you knock again? Hope we pick that up on camera because that was two knocks. Rose, you just did two knocks. Can you show yourself with some orbs in this house? Can you make like an orb happen? Can you make like an orb happen? Like a ball of light. I want to see a ball of light like go through here in this living room. Do you have anything else to say to me, Rose? No? Are you a good spirit? No? <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix is chewing up the Ouija. <laughs> okay, Phoenix, you gotta get off the board. Are you a good spirit, Rose? Okay, Rose, I am going to sign off of the spare box right now. I've got a slew of crows that are buzzing by my apartment right now. <laughs> so I'm going to sign off of this. Thank you for getting off the board, Phoenix. Rose. Rose, I'm going to say goodbye. I didn't see your... your you move, but I did hear the knock. If you can knock one more time to let me know that you're here. <gasps> <clears throat> okay, Rose.
Rose, I heard that. I heard that. Rose, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm gonna play back the tape. I hope you said more than what I just heard. And I'll look for orbs. Goodbye, Rose. Okay, guys, I am going to call it a night. I said goodbye on the Ouija board. I hope we picked up something on the spare box. I'm not gonna know until I replay this. I hope we captured some orbs. I didn't really see any orbs in the living room. So uh, not until I play back this footage will I actually be able to see if I see something from her that I asked her, but I definitely heard the knocks and I hope, I hope, I hope it picked up on camera and you guys heard it too. So with that said, I am going to say goodnight and I'm definitely shooting some stuff this weekend. I definitely want to work with her one-on-one, -on -one. maybe even try to do the mirror, uh, the scrying mirror with uh, Rose. I keep, now I'm wanting to call her Hope. Like, what the hell? When she was Hope, I called her Rose. And now when she's Rose, I'm calling her Hope. <laughs> Maybe she's, uh, Rope. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, like this video. Comment down below if you heard anything, if you've seen anything. Definitely comment down below because you guys pick them out and you hear the stuff way before I hear stuff. And you guys are good. Like, you guys are good. Like, good. I... Yeah, there's stuff that I honestly miss, and you guys point them out, and I'm going back, I'm like, how the hell did I miss that? So, like this video, comment down below. I thank you to all my subscribers, my new subscribers, my OGs. You guys got my heart, you know that, and I thank you, thank you, and thank you. And if you're watching this video and you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and smash my face in the left-hand corner, boop, or smash the subscribe button down below. You guys know what to do. Just smash the hell out of it and turn on the bell for notifications so you know these videos are coming out. Alrighty guys, so I am so excited with doing the um, 31 days of horror in October that I so just want to go ahead and do 31 days in July. Oh my God. Like I've, I've got 16 days planned out and I've already got like things going in my mind for the other rest of the time, the other 15 days, I believe it is. Yes, but I already have props. I've, I, you know, I'm, I'm preparing. Like I've already got stuff ready to go. So I can't wait till October comes. Bring on the fall! Alrighty, guys. Enough of that. There's Phoenix. He's saying goodbye. Hi. Hi, Bella. <laughs> Alrighty. Until the next time. Peace.